What is going on, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. I am excited to get into today's video and talk about a Jets rookie that has been, well, highly regarded now ever since he was drafted by the New York Jets on day three of the NFL draft. Quantes Stiggers has been a name that has raised eyebrows. Why? Well, because first it was his story. And if um, if you were living under a rock, and well, the chances are if you're watching late June Jets content, you know who Quantes Stiggers is. But I got to cover all the basics here. Uh, really, really interesting story. So he didn't get drafted out of college. He uh, was originally going to go to college, and then unfortunately his father passed away. So then he stepped back, and it was during the COVID year, so he wasn't going to have a season anyway. And then he signs to get his mom signs him up for the fan control league. He tries out, has a phenomenal season. Then he gets a tryout for the Toronto Argonauts uh, in the CFL. He makes the, not only does he make the team. He is the rookie of the year, has like five interceptions. It was absolutely stellar. Gets himself drafted by the New York Jets. Awesome, awesome story. Seems like a great kid. If you watched him speak, like just really, really good kid. And well, he was really good for the New York Jets in OTAs and minicamp. And now OTAs and minicamp doesn't necessarily mean that a player is going to be absolutely phenomenal and be the best thing ever. Uh, unfortunately, if you remember in 2018, Chad Hansen had a great spring and then did absolutely nothing in training camp. And then I believe ended up getting cut or moved or he wasn't a factor for, for the Jets that year after it was like on the spring of Chad Hansen. And then he did absolutely nothing with the Jets. Now, with that being said, like, am I predicting that to happen with Quantes here? No, I think he is going to be an interesting piece, but um, just trying to temper expectations because sometimes like we have we see these guys have a, a great spring or a really good summer before the season. And it's like, this guy's gonna be the best thing ever. And it's like, well, well like, well, let's pump the brakes for a second. But it's totally valid to be excited about his potential is the point. And Jet fans aren't the only ones who are excited about the potential of Quantes stickers. Hell, even Sauce Gardner had a unbelievable quote recently about Quantes Stiggers and even made a comparison to himself a little bit. Here is the quote. He can add a lot. He is very talented and willing to learn. Just like I was when I first came into the league. I see myself in him a little bit in terms of the mental aspect, being vocal always, not being afraid to speak up, not being afraid of asking the older guys, the veterans for advice and help on the playbook life or whatever it is now number one like am i or sauce gardner saying that Quantes stiggers is going to come into league and have the like the first two years that sauce gardner did no that is unprecedented that is just absolutely unreal what we've seen sauce gardner do so far in his brief nfl career but for these guys to make it in this league having that the, the mental makeup that Quantes Stickers does is a really good sign. Again, being vocal, you, you have to be vocal. You have to be confident in your abilities. He's a little bit older coming into the league than some of these other guys because of his interesting path that he's been on. But I love that he's being taken under the wing by Sauce Gardner. And Sauce going into his third year is been pretty vocal that he wants to be more of a this third time I'm saying in this sentence, but a vocal leader. Um, he's speaking up a little bit more, but like is sauce still young. Yeah. He's under 25. I believe he's 24 years old still, or it might even be 23, but it, it, that doesn't matter. The point being is he's a young kid, but he's maturing and him. T well, he's always been mature, but he's now at the point of his career where he can take the young guys under his wing and be like, this is how I did it. I'm still a young player in this league, but here's how I had the success. And Quantes is the perfect candidate for that. That also goes into the like second part of what I wanted to get into in this video. I, I think internally, this is exactly what the Jets want, and it's pretty obvious why they want it. Now, we've talked a lot about the tough decision the Jets have to make between, you know, with DJ Reed and Michael Carter, uh, and which one of the two do you pay? There's been debates on it. Where I stand on it, I would pay Michael Carter. He's younger. He's going to be cheaper because he's a slot corner. Um, and just with, you know, Sauce Gardner is going to get 22 to $25 million a year on his next deal. 
if DJ Reed's going to get, we'll say, f- f- at the floor 15, so you're looking at an absolute floor of $37 million for your two starting outside corners, roughly. And we know the cap hit's going to be different than that. That's very challenging to do in when you're allocating money on your roster. Um, so I think the Jets may make the tough decision, which is to let DJ Reed walk at age 29. It's probably the right call, you know, paying corners into their 30s, big, you know, big money deal as a number two corner. I, I don't know if that's the right way to go about it, honestly. Um, and if you're looking at options, you have a few things that you could do. One, you could hit free agency on a little bit of a bargain bin. Number two is you could hit it up in the draft. So the Jets are going to have a first round pick in 2020, 2025. Maybe that is a pick that's used on a, on a corner that you pair with Sauce Gardner after he's getting, you know, because Sauce is expected to get paid and paid well as he deserves to be. Maybe you do it that way. Or maybe there's someone already on the roster, whether like Brandon Eccles is a name that you know, we know this Jets staff likes. But I think Quantez is in their perfect world, the guy that they want to pair. Now, again, I'm not crowning it because we haven't seen him in a regular season game. Hell, we haven't even seen him in training camp yet with this team. But can the Jets find and develop talent at corner? Yeah, we've seen it. The Jets drafted Michael Carter late in the 2021 draft and look at what he's turned into. He's one of the best slot corners in football now in in his young career. We've seen the Jets develop talent well on the defensive side of the ball with under the radar guys that people didn't really know anything about. Bryce Huff, um, you know, Quincy Williams, uh, John Franklin Myers. They've they've done it a few times. Uh, Tony Adams. They, they have gotten a ton out of these players who aren't like top end picks or like the elite of the elite and just like a pure talent perspective because, you know, they're, they're late round guys. They're not like the first round talents. But if any group deserves the benefit of the, de- a benefit of the doubt, it's this Jets defense. And it's Robert Sala, it's Jeff Ulbrich, and in this instance for a corner, Tony Oden. They've, they've done a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic job. So I'm not ruling it out. I do think there's a world where Quantes Diggers can be the Jets' number two corner next year. Is that a, is that me saying that I guarantee it and this is 100% going to be the case? No, that we can't do that yet. You can't make that leap of faith yet. But what you can do is say there's a world where it happens based on X, Y, and Z. And that X, Y, and Z is that they've done it before. And that if any group deserves the benefit of the doubt it's this coaching staff on the defensive side of the ball so more of the story i'm excited about Quantes stiggers and number two so is sauce gardner which is probably more important than my excitement let me know what you guys think in the comments thank you so much for tuning in i'm matt o'leary catch you guys next time